Hi guys, I'm Tonya from Abusive Tattoo and this is a video about 10 top mistakes made at receiving large tattoo projects and bodysuits. First and very often come across mistake is when the tattoo project design isn't completed and thought through fully and customer begins receiving it. This way the result of this tattoo is very very unpredictable. The second mistake is when the customer and tattooer don't have mutual view and understanding of the custom project. In best case scenario, I think customer should fully trust the artist. Another mistake is um, when tattoo artist doesn't offer you the full outlook of the future body project and uh, he or she is only concerned about designing a tattoo for the body part that customer asked for. This then may lead to the person having a collage of different designs all over the body rather than a complete connected large tattoo or a bodysuit. Number four, it can often be a mistake if you think that you have enough money, time and strength resource for the whole large tattoo project. Number five, it is very wrong to think that it is okay to pause a tattoo project for an uncertain amount of time and then get back to it whenever you finally choose to do so. You know, a tattoo artist isn't a printer that can be switched on and off at any time with no consequences. Number six, it's a big mistake to swap a tattoo artist to another in uh, the middle of the project, unless if you really have a good reason for this. Number seven, the receiver of a large tattoo project will have a lot of difficulties if not prepared to implement regular healing procedures into everyday life as if it is a disciplinary behavior. Unfortunately, this often happens when a tattoo artist doesn't give a full introduction into what customer will have to go through between the sessions. It often happens when junior tattooers um, take the work on and they often forget to inform of all potential process that awaits you as a receiver of the project. So do choose your artist based on their experience and a decent portfolio unless you're determined that you are the one who should be involved in somebody's learning path. Well, number eight, another mistake is not being available to visit your tattooer or not keeping in touch during the healing process. Because in terms of a large project, it is very, very important to be ready for checkups on your healing tattoo as if you're turning up to a hospital to change the dressing when required. That way you will exclude all major healing problems. Well, that is if your tattoo artist is also a professional, of course. Number nine on our mistakes list is having friends and family involved in the project development. It should only be you and only you who decides the subject and the plot of your tattoo. If you feel the need to have somebody else involved in the process apart from yourself and your tattoo artist, then you maybe don't even need this tattoo. It often happens to be an impulsive wish for some changes in life. Normally you've got to just give it some time and it will pass. Big projects are only for serious people and for the crazy, in a good sense of this word, I guess. The last, but definitely not the least, mistake is the attitude towards the tattoo as if it is a piece of expensive decoration for the body. To you as a receiver of the tattoo, it should be like a trophy for being very strong and very, very patient because you will go through such physical and mental trials that you have never previously imagined. It will require all your mental and physical strength in some moments of the process. Okay, I guess this is it for today and uh, see you another time. This was Tonya from Abusive Tattoo. Bye.